Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at my trip to the Great British Land Rover Show 2021. This show is quite different to the other ones that you're used to in the year. This one's inside compared to LRO and Billing, which is outside, so you're not going to be camping. But it's a nice day trip and it's nice to also have a show at this time of year and not be freezing cold outside in the rain. So let's get to it. So here we are at the ORE stand where Boris was for the weekend, proudly positioned at the corner of the stand with its lights blaring up into the ceiling and everyone can see it from far and wide. As you can see up front, also a brand new Warrior winch with a ORE winch bumper. We just put this on a couple of days before the show so we could showcase it and everyone could see it for the first time. If you want to see the video of the install, check the description below and you can see it there. I thought it best to start the ORE stand because this is where I actually started the tour with the camera. These shots are from before the doors actually opened and the store was complete. I thought it was open and I was surprised at how quiet it was. It turns out it opened at 10 and got a lot busier. New bumpers, DRL bumpers, crank bumpers, all you like, as well as new products like these Molly cargo panels that go between the cabin and the rear on your Defender. They're very cool too. Always have to have Boris open for everyone to see with the lights on in the back and even made a video on YouTube that I've already seen of the show. Chris had his 90 that he rebuilt with all of the goodies from ORE and it looked absolutely great with the lights on at the front. It was fantastic to finally have a proper chat with Zach. I did bump into him at the ORE stand at LRO but it was great to have a look at Scout properly and spend a day with him on the stand with ORE. It was fantastic to see his 110 in the flesh and uh, looking nice and shiny for everyone to see. His Instagram is fantastic as well as his YouTube video so take a look at the description and uh, click Scout the Defender. Just next to us was Synchro Gearboxes with their slick shifters. I've actually got one in Boris so I didn't have to buy one but it was nice to see the bits and pieces that they sell. Fantastic to see the army surplus stall still rocking at this show. Managed to pick myself up a gas mask bag for my tools. That's really good. And also spotted these boxes that could sort of sit on top of Boris and could be a great little storage solution instead of my normal car box on the roof. I hadn't heard of these chassis until I'd been to shows recently. These are brand new galvanized chassis from Mayer and they do look like quite a good option. RAC parts rocking these pretty crazy trucks as you can see the list on those as well as the side by side. Some of you may recognize this if you're a fan of the Car Throttle channel. Recently they did a Brit part versus Terra Firma challenge and this was the disco they built. Cool to see it in person. I wonder how many people turn up to this show with Land Rover projects in their garage. Look at this like it is in their garage at the moment. Still cool to see. Landroid are local to me down here in Exeter. Nice to bump into them. They had a few of their trucks at this show. Saw them for the first time the other day at a meetup. They've actually got quite a unique high-end style of rebuilds. This one's got a disabled access from the back and also this interesting Defender series front. The classic recovery equipment stall. Recovery boards with metal studs and these waffle boards. I still don't own a set of either of these and I'm not sure which ones to go for because they're both great. I love the look of this heritage style blue pickup truck. Nice rebuild, really tastefully done. Sort of what I wanted to do with Boris, but this is a lot more original. Loving the grill, just like Boris. Really cool. Powerful UK, a big presence on YouTube. Great to see there. Really cool. Uh, Ghostbusters truck making an appearance. Uh, very cool new Defender 110. Of course, you've got to have the Defender Coffee Company. Didn't have one in the end, but it's because they ran out of coffee and milk, I think. Not very good. It's hard to really get a good wide shot of this show to show the scale of people, but here you go. It's a very busy shot here, but I can't get high enough to show the sort of size of the stands and how many there are. Nice to see this electric Defender showcased on the Beer Kudrich stall. Look at that, that big block there. Danger, 400 volts, that's pretty scary. It's a really cool truck. Actually featured on Matt Watson's channel, who's a big YouTuber. They did a little uh, towing test against a new Defender and... It did lose actually, but very cool truck indeed. BF Goodrich were the main sponsor of this show. They had a big stall in the middle and it was great to see them there. Bumped into Martin and great to have a chat with him about their tyres and maybe something in the future. Who knows, but it could be exciting. Directly next at the ORE stand was Demand Engineering Limited. 
making fantastic stainless steel exhausts. Lovely small company run by great people. Boris soon will have one of these and will be sounding better than ever. Absolutely love these. Wanted one for ages. This is the Mac Attack 2.2 TDCI Puma. I had a go in this at LRO around the ring and it absolutely flies. Great bit of kit. Optimal made an appearance. Nice to see these bits in person. The quality is very high, so being able to hold them in your hand is great. I've actually got the fuel cap from LRD Security. Really nice attention to detail and finishing. I still don't know what company this belongs to, but I've seen it at three shows now. It makes appearance at all of them. The gold chassis. Looks cool though. One of the only things I bought actually was one of these rubber mats as you can see at the bottom. I've now got it on top of the wood in the back of Boris and it's great for carrying loads because the varnish scratches all the time and I put a lot of work into that rear wood bit. Tools galore as you can imagine, pretty much you can pick up anything you want. Lots of US Pro bits and pieces, seen these at a lot of shows so if you do make one I'm sure you'll see these. Didn't actually pick anything up for myself because I didn't need anything but cool to see. Good to see the Land Rover Green Jackets making appearance at this show as well in front of this cool old tool stand which I just had to film because I just loved the sort of different bits and pieces that they collected for sale. wonder if this guy drives a Jeep but just wants to look like a Land Rover driver. Who knows? Nice to see Luke from Loft Clutches with his store. Everything on display there including his brakes of all grades. Lots of power spec brakes, power spec clutches. Look at these massive discs and calipers. I installed some loft brakes recently. It wasn't these. They were the drilled and slotted ones and there'll be a video on that soon. But thanks to Luke for sending those out. Advertised on the back wall is the Powermaster Slave and Spring. I've actually got the Powermaster installed and it makes a massive difference to the clutch. I always have to show people how different it really is and it's huge. This 110 pickup was right by the entrance and was very cool. Love the colour. Had a big Cummins engine with some custom bits. Look at that clear airbox. Really cool truck. And I'm always a sucker for a pickup with a roof tent in the back bed. Very cool indeed. All in all, it was a great show. Nice to see some familiar faces and see some brands that weren't at the other shows. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry about all the voiceover. If you didn't make it, then you could see what was there this year and maybe you could go next time. Now we just have to wait for 2022 shows and hopefully I'll see you there. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers.